Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. I have a huge, huge book haul and I have a few pile. I have a few piles here of books that I've recently bought, still need to get to and read, uh, that I'm just gonna show you guys. So, this is gonna kind of be like what I hope to start with the year 2023 with, uh, and hopefully what I stick to as far as what I read. I'm a big mood reader, so we'll see if I actually get through these, um, but yeah. Also, some of these I've had for quite a while already, so like, that's not great, but okay. Most recently, I got Brothers in Life by Matt and Mike Zuckery. This is like, about youth, death, philosophy, spirituality, and love, and it's written, it's not poetry, but it's like, like that. Um, but obviously, uh, Matt Zuckery from Gilmore Girls, that's how I know him, and that's why I heard of this book. So I'm really interested to kind of start this. I think I want to try to get this, read this today, like start it and maybe finish it. Um, but we'll see. This is probably the one that I'm going to finish next. I also have some books that are gi were gifts. So this one is called Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I know, a Colin Hoover book that I haven't read. Uh, I still have to get through this one. I got it in July for Christmas, like my Christmas in July with my grandmother. And I don't know, I started it and then just never kept reading it. So I have to start it over again uh, and finish it. But I am really excited about it. I know this is a lot of people's favorites um, of Colin Hoover, so. And then this is another gift. I actually got this almost a year ago and never read it yet. Oops. But, um, it's The Institute by Stephen King. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. Like, I think it might be the length. I don't know. But, um, it's not even super long for Stephen King. And it looks really good, so. My mom liked it. Um, she got to it before I did. But it looked good. It's a Stephen King. Can't go wrong. And I love a good scary book. I don't read a lot of, like, horror books. I read more thrillers, but... This looks good, so. Uh, and then, I don't thrift books a lot because I don't find a lot of books when I thrift. Um, it's kind of hard for me to find good thrifted books, but I did find a couple. So, I have Quiet by Susan Cain. I actually watched her TED talk about introversion for my English class, and I had to do an essay on it, analyzing it and everything. And so I wanted to check this book out. I really liked the TED Talk. Um, and if you know me, you know I'm an introvert, you know I'm quiet. So I thought this would be really interesting to read. So I hope it's good. Um, I don't read a lot of nonfiction all the time, but yeah. give this a try. And then I found at the, my library, uh, someone donated Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, the Advanced Readers Edition. I don't really think you're supposed to sell these, but I paid like 50 cents for it. Um, and it looks really good. I think I have heard good reviews about this book, but I don't really know too much about it other than they're obviously texting. And their names are Pepper and Jack. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one looks good too. I thought this one looked really cute, so I'm excited to read it. I was on the Rumi's Digest Whatnot live stream where they were selling books and doing giveaways and like auctions. And so I got a couple books. I got uh, Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake, which I've heard a lot about. I heard a lot about this when I was younger and it looks really interesting. Uh, I'm not a series person, so I don't know if I'd continue with it, but you never know. Uh, I don't know, it looks really interesting, so I'm excited to maybe, hopefully, get into this. It doesn't look too hard, it's self-definite, well, it's clearly why, because the words are not that small, but, so I don't, be a good, I feel like, it'll kind of go by fast, I don't know, hopefully. And then, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Hoyne, this one looks really cute, I really fought for this one on the live stream, um, I also heard a lot about it, it was on book talk, and a lot of good reviews, so I'm really excited to read it. Uh, one of my favorite booktubers, Haley Pham, uh, I think read this and like adored it, and it 
talked about it quite a bit on her channel, so. And plus, it just looks really cute. Uh, and it's a debut, debut novel, and I don't know why, but I feel like I've read quite a few debut novels and loved them, so. And then the last pile is books I bought from Barnes & Noble. So, this one I bought the farthest away, like, a longer time ago. Uh, it's A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. I tried starting this one time and never got to actually, like, reading it. It's not really sure, but I just, if you've noticed a trend, that's what I do a lot. Um, but no, it looks really good. And this is, like, books that I read. Like, this is my favorite genre. So, plus it's Paula Hawkins, and I know she's a good author, so. Hopefully this was good. I'll keep you updated. And then I have Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read... Which one did I read? I read The Six Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and really liked that one. So, um, I like her re reading, not reading, her writing style. So, I saw this and it looked really good. What happens to Elsie Porter is in anything but ordinary. I'm excited about it. And I also hadn't heard about it. Like, I heard a lot about uh, Daisy Jones and the Six and Malibu Rising, but I hadn't heard about this one, so interesting. And then these next two I literally just bought a couple days ago. Um, I got The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This one I heard a lot about and really seems like my type of book. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think this is um, one of the next ones I'm going to read too. This is like next on the list besides Brothers on Life. And then 56 Days by Catherine Ryan Howard. This one also looks really good. It's kind of confusing. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm confused what's happening. Like the setting and stuff. But I've read like three pages of it. So obviously I need to keep reading. But also again it looks really interesting it's a thriller and i love thrillers thriller is my favorite genre so i think this will be good and i feel like i've read a lot of like realistic fiction romance lately which is not like me so i would love a good thriller again and this one this one's hefty why is it such a heavy book um but i saw this on book of the month and that it looked really good, so then, now I have it. <laughs> and that is my book haul. I have lots of books to read, and hopefully, I get to them soon. I have been way more into reading lately. I had a major reading slump this year. Started out strong, and then toward, once I got into summer, spring and summer and then started college i hadn't been reading so i'm excited to get back into it and be excited about books again um i did not reach my goodreads goal reading goal this year but there's always next year uh so yeah let me know a book that's on your tbr or that you guys just bought or if you've read any of these and what your thoughts are on them if one of these are also on your DBR. Just let me know your thoughts below. Let's have a conversation uh, down there. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.